What's up everyone, Shane and Chloe here, back on Shane's Movie Reviews. Uh, you know it's going to be a good weekend when you have back-to-back -back movies, back-to-back -back movie reviews. This is my 11th of the year already, uh, Brahms the Boy 2, uh, another horror movie, another PG-13 horror movie. You saw the first one, what did you think about this one? I thought the first one was better, for sure. Okay, yeah. I mean this one had a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes for a while, so very low expectations going in. I mean... Uh, in terms of jump scares, you know, they try to get you with, with the dog barking or something, and I just, I, I never buy into that. Uh, the horror element, probably uh, lower on the scale, but definitely better than Fantasy Island and uh, Gretel and Hansel. Probably on the same level as Underwater, uh, in terms of the, the horror movie scale that I've seen this year. Uh, any, anything stand out to you in this movie? Really? Not much. It was pretty a mellow, scary movie. That's kind it, of how I'd put it. Very generic. It was yeah. a very generic uh, horror movie. I mean, you you could go see this. I don't know what you're going to get out of it. I mean, especially whatever you're expecting. Uh, what, what would you give it? I mean, there's really nothing else to say. It, it was pretty basic. I'd probably give it a 55%. 55? I yeah. mean, I'll probably give it around 48, 50. I think is a fair range since I gave Underwater a 54. Uh, but listen, if, if you want to get a quick scare, I mean, you're not going to get too much out of this, but you can go see this one. All right, I think that's all we got. Uh, the next one I do should be Impractical Jokers. I've been saying it for a while now. Should be Impractical Jokers. I should get to see it next weekend. Hopefully. Cross the fingers. we got to cross the fingers, fingers again. Fingers crossed. Peace out, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.